thanks for watching. Let's talk a little bit about writing task number two on the TOEFL. And my tip for you here is that excellent writers go deep. Now you can write like an okay essay and it'll just be an okay score. But I know you're not looking for an okay score. I know you're looking for an excellent score. Okay, so in order to, for the score to be up here, you gotta go deep, <laughs> okay? So let me explain what I mean by that. Um, you can think of it like an iceberg, okay? So we have this iceberg in the middle of the ocean and if you're just kind of okay as a writer, you're gonna stay on a very surface level. Just the surface level, just the, just this much. So for example, let's say our question is about um, the qualities of a good boss. You know, what makes your supervisor or boss a good boss? And I want to talk about in a supporting paragraph, I want to talk about how a good boss is um, someone who has the ability to teach their employees. Okay, good idea. An excellent boss will be able to teach their employees. Employees, when they're well-trained and well-taught, can perform their job very well. They also have confidence in their job. Do you see how I'm, I'm just right here, I'm still at the surface level. I haven't yet gone deep. How do I go deeper? I'm gonna give specific examples. Specific examples to show me how that works or to show the reader how um, this works. And if it comes from your life, even better because it gets really, really interesting when it comes from your own personal experience. This is what makes your essay stand out. This is what makes your essay unique and unlike anyone else's when you start to talk about the experiences in your life. And yes, you can use I when you talk about your experiences. A lot of people think, oh, I cannot use I in the essay. Yes, you can when you're talking about your personal examples to support your topic sentence. So I'm talking about my boss. I'm talking about a good boss should be a great teacher. And now, for example, when I was learning how to be a fitness instructor, I had a wonderful boss who was my trainer. And she taught me all about anatomy. She gave me books to learn about the body. She gave me uh, exercises that I could do at home and then um, she allowed me to teach those exercises to her so that I would know how to vocalize them and verbalize them to my class. My boss created a wonderful experience of learning so that I could really become a great fitness instructor. So do you see how I went deeper with that by giving my specific example from my life. So once again, don't stay up here on the surface level of writing because your writing will just be like, mm, and it will actually be pretty boring. But when you go deep, when you give me those personal examples, it makes your essay come alive. I hope this helps. Happy writing.